Hey everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing bickering book reviews. Today we're talking about Ophie's Ghost by Justina Ireland that I got off of Edelweiss. Same. So this book takes place in the 1920s and Ophie is a 12-year-old girl, African-American girl, um, who was living in Georgia and in the middle of the night her dad wakes her up and tells her that she needs to get her mom and that they need to go hide. Because something bad's going to happen. Well, what happens is a group of white men come and burn down their house. And Ophi realizes that her father had already been murdered. And that his spirit was telling her to hide. And so they really don't have a reason to stay in Georgia. So she and her mother move up to Pennsylvania, to Pitts- Pittsburgh, right? They were in Pittsburgh, not Philadelphia. Yeah. Um, yes, because they talk about the steel. Yeah. Um, to live with her father's aunt and her cousins, who were not nice people. And her mom got a job as a domestic in this very fancy estate basically and Ophi has to take a job helping there and she has to leave school um and while she's there she starts to interact with the ghosts and she kind of uncovers a little bit of a mystery and it kind of goes from there that's about everything right yeah that's about that's about it so I don't know how to feel about this book um I read a lot of tween novels like I, I feel like I'm well versed in tween novels and like this felt like a teen novel like the pacing I think was more for older readers I don't know because like I I don't read as much middle grade I'm not I'm not the biggest middle grade fan I liked the see Justina Ireland's really good with characters I liked Ophie I yeah. liked I liked the ghosts yeah, the characters were strong. They were they um, were strong. And there's a lot of stuff that Ophie's dealing with that I think that this book would be like awesome in a classroom. Yeah, think- because it doesn't really get addressed in a lot of other books. And right. It, yes, there are certain topics that, you know, like passing and like lynching and like right. you know, that aren't typically American addressed- voter rights and like how things haven't really changed and all that. Right that I think it what it is important in the classroom I I just uh, like it never grabbed me it didn't grab me either like it was it was I had to force myself to read this and like the thing is I'm it does have Newberry potential I think I just don't know I don't the language for me wasn't there but I really appreciate the fact that she definitely takes twists characters in this story by making like the trolley a character and the garden right. a character, and I thought that was interesting. Like the narrative, you know, like that change. that was unique and that was really kind of well done and very interesting. Because she's a good writer. When it gets down right. to it, she's a good story. She's a good storyteller, right? And I didn't think Newberry, but I definitely thought CSK, right? Because of the issues that they that they addressed and the way she addressed them, and that's why it's hard because. Yeah, it didn't grab me. But it's a but, strong book. But you see all of these things. Like, you can see how it's well-written and it's well-developed. And the characters are strong. But it was just weird for a book about, a, like, a, supernat- a girl with supernatural gifts and ghosts for it not to grab me and not to, like, not to, like, push me through. Like, it's very rare that it, w- it those kind of books are a struggle for me. Well, was it just too long, maybe? Because it feels like it was a long book. It felt long, but I think there were... I think the problem was it's it's the pacing. It, it is definitely the pacing. Absolutely. Because I think it, there's too long in between, like, action points. Like, we're spending a lot of time just kind of spinning our wheels, I think. Right. Because, like, it seems like a lot of times with middle grade novels, it's like one thing happens after another, after another, after another. And that just was like, it was just, there was too long in between, like, describing things and setting things up without it actually, like, moving. And, like I said, it's, it's frustrating amazing. because the characters are strong and the narrative, like, the story is strong. And, like, she's presenting these ideas in a way that it's a. Se- a- accessible for kids and is interesting for kids but maybe you're right it's the pacing it just didn't quite work it's the pace like there's nothing there's 
I cannot think of a, another reason why it would have been such a struggle for me to read. It's, it's the pacing. It's what it is. Because that's the, that's, that's why I love tween novels the best because they go so quickly. Right. And like this didn't do that. See, and I often like, even when I was like a tween middle grade reading middle grade books, I had a hard time like pushing through. So like I went like from, cause you remember when I was a kid, there wasn't a lot of YA. So I went from like young reader books straight to adult stuff. Yeah. Which is what really isn't development, not developmentally a good idea. Right. So. No, I, I love children's chapter books. I love them. Um, yeah, no, this, this was pacing. It's definitely like, as far as I'm concerned, it's definitely the pacing because so all of the, like the key aspects that it needed, it has like the, it, it, ha it yeah. So let's just read it. Um, our rating system starts at the top with five unicorns. We go to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. I think because the pacing was so difficult for me, I'm going to have to give it a three because it really, I mean, it really does have solid aspects to it. It's got the, it's got the parts of the outline, but it doesn't actually flow together. So it's, it's the pacing. And I'm like at a three as well, because I mean, the characters are strong. The setting is strong. The message she's giving us is strong. Even the lessons are well done. I just, it shouldn't have taken me a week to read. Right. So that is where we are on Ophie's Ghost, and we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.